I just think of Paul as a winner. Uh, I think of him as a guy. Uh, I'll tell you another Paul story. He won't, I won't say he won't like this one. He'll be embarrassed by this one. When he got named captain of the team, we, we used to fly an old McDonnell Douglas airplane. We boarded from the rear of the aircraft and walked forward. And the press was always in the rear. So we'd get in and take our seats, and then all the players would go by us. So Paul walks by us the day he's been named captain. And he's got these two Barnes & Noble bags in his hands, OK? Now, you don't see a lot of Barnes & Noble bags on, on, on the charter. Um, so I'm thinking, what's going on here? So we're, we're flying the old Miami Heat plane that had a compartment up in the front. And it was an all-night flight back from Sacramento, I think. So I'm wandering around the aisles, and I get up to the little compartment, and I look in, and there's Paul sitting there. And he's got about eight books on leadership spread out on the table. And he's just, he's kind of staring at him, like, you know. I think Judge Apto had a session, and he said, I didn't know you had to read them. I thought you just had to buy them, you know. Um, and I think that's what Paul was hoping, that uh, maybe if he stared at him long enough, some of the leadership things would come back to him. But the mere fact that once he got named captain, he went and bought a bunch of books on leadership tells you a lot about who he is.